In this video, we will look at the most advanced new spacecraft designed to take humans and payloads into space for various purposes, including space exploration and space tourism. Dream Chaser Also known as America's space plane, Dream Chaser is a reusable space vehicle designed and manufactured by Sierra Nevada Corporation to transport both humans and cargo to and from low Earth orbit. Dream Chaser is vertically launched and it can autonomously fly to space and horizontally land on the ordinary runways. Its cargo version can carry up to 11 kilopounds of cargo and its crew version can carry two to seven astronauts at a time. To make Dream Chaser affordable, its cargo version is designed to be reused 15 or more times. In contrast, the crew version is designed to be reused for a minimum of 25 missions. In 2016, Dream Chaser was selected by NASA to provide cargo delivery, return and disposal service for the International Space Station. Falcon 9 Falcon 9 is the world's first reusable, two-stage rocket designed and manufactured by SpaceX, an American aerospace company founded by business magnate and industrial designer Elon Musk. Intending to reduce space transportation costs to enable humans to travel to Mars and colonize it, Elon decided to make reusable rockets capable of making multiple flights, unlike other rockets that could only fly once. After years of design, development, and revisions, the Falcon 9 was born. And in December 2015, the Falcon 9 became the first rocket to return and vertically land on Earth successfully. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We have liftoff of the Falcon 9. This is the most exciting thing I've ever witnessed. <laughs> yeah, like, I've never seen a group of people more <laughs> excited, like freaked out excited. Like, <laughs> Powered by 190 kilopound force Merlin engines, this 229.6 foot long rocket can carry 50,265 pounds payload. But to go to Mars, Elon thinks we need a much bigger rocket than this. Introducing the Falcon Heavy the most powerful operational rocket in the world by a factor of two. The Falcon Heavy is derived from the Falcon 9. It consists of a strengthened Falcon 9 first stage as the center core and two additional Falcon 9-like first stages as strap-on boosters. To test the vehicle's capability, Elon decided to take to Mars his own sports car, the Tesla Roadster as a dummy payload carrying a dummy human, dubbed Starman. Six, five, four, three, two, one, two. Four position. Oh man, 
man. Uh, recapping all the great things that you just saw there. Uh, successful liftoff from the pad, successful stage separation, but before that, successful booster separation. They're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. Both side resumes transonic. And watch for the landing lights to play at the tail end of that landing burn. And that landing burn has started. Both boosters looking to be on track towards their respective Both landing zones. Both boosters' landing have started. Side boosters' landing legs have deployed. And the Falcons have landed. The launch was a success. The two additional reused rocket boosters came back and landed on Earth, but the center core could not. On its second and also the first commercial Falcon Heavy flight, all three booster rockets successfully returned to Earth. As of today, SpaceX has done a total of three Falcon Heavy launches, with seven reflown rockets and performed four successful landings. The Falcon 9 has flown 92 times with 38 reflown rockets and has successfully performed 53 landings. Dragon. In the summer of 2020, this spacecraft became the first private spacecraft to take humans to space and successfully return them to Earth. Manufactured by SpaceX, the Dragon is a reusable spacecraft capable of carrying up to seven passengers to and from Earth orbit and beyond. Currently, it is the only operational spacecraft capable of returning significant amounts of cargo to Earth. The vehicle's current version is called SpaceX Dragon 2, which comes in two variations, Crew Dragon and Cargo Dragon, an update of the original Dragon spacecraft, Dragon 1. Crew Dragon is autonomous. It can seek out the International Space Station, dock with it, undock, and safely land. If that fails, its first backup will be mission controllers here on Earth. In 2014, SpaceX won a US $2.6 billion contract from NASA to complete and certify the Crew Dragon. And in 2020, the vehicle was launched to space carrying two astronauts, Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin, to the International Space Station. Despite being autonomous, the astronauts can also take manual control and easily operate it as an iPad through its three large touchscreens. Boeing Starliner. Boeing Starliner, aka Crew Space Transportation 100, is an autonomous, reusable crew space capsule developed by Boeing after winning a U.S. $4.2 billion contract from NASA. Being fully autonomous like SpaceX's Crew Dragon, Starliner can also seek out the International Space Station, dock with it, undock, and then safely land, all without human intervention. Unlike SpaceX Crew Dragon, which can only land in the ocean, Boeing Starliner can land on solid ground using its innovative parachute and airbag system. This landing allows quicker access to crew and cargo and makes turning around capsules for other missions more efficient. The Boeing Starliner can carry up to seven people and is being designed to be able to remain in orbit for up to seven months with the reusability of up to 10 missions. Three. Two, one, and lift off the rise of Starliner. On the 20th of December, 2019, Boeing conducted the first uncrewed Starliner orbital flight test, but the spacecraft experienced a software error that prevented it from docking with the International Space Station. Months later, Boeing said they had fixed the issues, 
and the company plans to do a second unpiloted test flight by December 2020 or in early January 2021, setting the stage for the first Starliner demonstration mission with astronauts in mid-2021. Starship Spacecraft This reminiscent of a flying grain silo is an experimental prototype of the highly anticipated Another SpaceX's spacecraft, the Starship, a massive spaceship and rocket system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. With its super-heavy rocket, Starship will be the world's most powerful and fully reusable launch vehicle ever developed. The rocket will be capable of carrying more than 220 kilopounds to Earth orbit, which is equivalent to 37 average standard trucks. In 2023, SpaceX is expected to fly Starship around the moon with its first private passenger, Yusaku Maizawa, a billionaire fashion innovator and art curator. This flight will help fund the development of Starship and its super heavy rocket, an essential step in enabling access for everyday people who dream of flying to space and make humans interplanetary species. Spaceship 2 Spaceship 2 is a reusable, air-launched, suborbital space plane designed for space tourism. It can carry up to eight passengers into space safely and with high frequency. The spacecraft is manufactured by Virgin Galactic, a company owned by Sir Richard Branson, an English business magnate and investor. To fly to space, Spaceship 2 is lifted by a quad-jet cargo aircraft up to a release altitude where it is released to pass on into the upper atmosphere, powered by its rocket engine. When coming back to Earth, the spaceship performs a conventional runway landing. Officially unveiled to the public in December 2009, Virgin Galactic has undergone two space flights for the spacecraft. It expects to fly its founder, Sir Richard Branson, in the first quarter of 2021. Virgin Galactic has been taking bookings for some time, and more than 600 people, including Justin Bieber and Leonardo DiCaprio, have already paid $250,000 to reserve a seat. Apart from flying tourists, this $400 million space plane could also be used to carry scientific payloads for NASA and other organizations. Spaceship Neptune With the same ambitions as Virgin Galactic, a Florida company, Space Perspectives plans to fly up to eight passengers to the edge of space in its high-tech space balloon. Introducing Spaceship Neptune, a balloon-borne pressurized capsule that can send tourists and research payloads to the stratosphere. In early 2021, Space Perspective expects to launch an uncrewed test flight that will carry research payloads and then, in a few years, if everything goes well, it'll also fly space tourists on a six-hour sightseeing tour to the edge of space. Flown by a pilot, the passengers will have a two-hour gentle ascent above 99% of the Earth's atmosphere to 100,000 feet where the Neptune will cruise above the Earth for up to two hours and then make a two-hour descent under the balloon and then splashes down. After that, a ship will retrieve the passengers, the capsule, and the balloon. The capsule will be able to be reused, but its 328 feet diameter balloon will be replaced for each mission. New Shepard Named after the first American to go to space, Alan Shepard, the New Shepard is a reusable suborbital rocket system designed to take astronauts and research payloads past the boundary of space. The spacecraft is manufactured by Blue Origin, a company owned and led by Amazon founder and businessman Jeff Bezos.
Atop a 60-foot tall rocket is a capsule designed to carry six people. Although the company hasn't started flying people yet, it has used the spacecraft commercially to fly scientific payloads to space to conduct microgravity research and experiments for NASA, universities, and companies during its test. In 2015, after reaching 62.4 miles of outer space altitude, the rocket successfully performed a powered vertical soft landing, the first time a suborbitable booster rocket had returned from space to make a successful vertical landing. New Glenn also manufactured by Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, New Glenn is a single configuration heavy lift launch vehicle capable of carrying people and payloads routinely to Earth orbit and beyond. Like the New Shepard, New Glenn is also meant to be reusable and land after each flight. Its 7-meter nose cone or payload fairing has two times the payload volume of any existing launch vehicle, which means it has more room for satellites and the freedom to build in more capacity. The company initially intended for the first launch in 2020, but by 2018, Blue Origin expected to launch the vehicle in 2021, which remains the current target. The company has also projected that in 2024, it will use the spacecraft to launch the Blue Moon the company's robotic space cargo carrier and lander for making cargo deliveries to the moon. Orion. This spacecraft is a critical part of NASA's 2024 Artemis program to build a sustainable presence on the Moon and prepare humans to move onto Mars. Officially known as Orion Multi Purpose Crew Vehicle, Orion is NASA's reusable spacecraft, which will be used for human deep space flight programs. The spacecraft consists of a crew module and a service module manufactured by Lockheed Martin and Airbus Defense and Space. Orion is the only spacecraft in development with the technology needed for extreme deep space life support, navigation, communications, radiation, and heat shielding. As the prime contractor of building Orion, Lockheed Martin has finalized a contract for six Orion missions and has delivered the first spacecraft, Artemis III, which will be used to carry the first woman and the next man to the moon in 2024. So what are your thoughts on these spacecraft? Where would you go if you were offered to fly with one of these vehicles? Would you go to the moon, Mars, or the International Space Station? Or you'd rather stay? Let us know in the comments section below. And please don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching.